And then obviously changing into working for Dualux there is their, um, I looked up to Tasmania for uh, all their key accounts and then um, got asked to instead look after Victoria and Tasmania for those key accounts. So making the move to Melbourne was a, a big call, but I did that and I'm very glad I did. There's now, you know, looking after Saucy here as business development manager is probably, you know, the, the highlight so far and th there's still a ways to go in terms of growing that. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's been great and just being in those couple of businesses that were a little bit smaller, but have kind of scaled, um, and also as well with Dualux, just kind of learning that bigger business environment and how they operate and taking a couple of learnings from there as well. And it sounds like when you did initially get that first role with the, uh, you know, in the automotive industry, you very much fell into sales. That doesn't sound like it was your, your plan, right? Yeah, not really. Um, look, I, I always loved cars and, um, to be honest, the perks drew me in it was you know you have whatever you want um the, the money it's going to be good and here you go like you know did you want to give it a crack um and it's always it was hard leaving that um that extremely safe more admin based role into something that had commission structures and you know i was in charge of my own income and realistically the hours were worse and that kind of thing but um it was probably that the car industry was probably one of the best times that I've had just in building friendships with a bunch of people that are also working as hard, that are also in control of their income. And um, it, it was one of the best paying as well as the most fun roles that I, I could have ever experienced. Um, and then, yeah, moving to Dulux where it ended up having that layer of safety built back in was quite good as well. Um, it was probably a little bit too slow for what I became used to. And that's why now I've ended up here, which seems to be a really good mix of the two. Yeah, perfect.